Well, we're just one day away from the second test between England and South Africa. And what a place to be. I mean, just look at this beautiful backdrop. I'm here with seasoned journalist Ken Borland, who is the senior correspondent for The Citizen over the tour. Ken, we've just heard from Faf. He has confirmed what we all knew already, that Peter Milan is going to make his debut. What's your thoughts on him? For the guys who maybe haven't seen him bad, what's your take? Yeah, you know, I think he's... he's Faf used the word a traditional opener, and I think that's exactly right. He's your, uh, you know, really solid, uh, dogged type opener. He, he, he builds in innings, he gets himself in, solid technique, that sort of thing. So, yeah, it's... it's um, a slightly different sort of player to an Aiden Markram, maybe. Uh, but, you know, also his his weight of runs in domestic cricket. Uh, he's done really well for the Cape Cobras for the last few seasons. Um, great that he's making his debut on his home ground. That'll help. Yes. So, yeah, you know, I think next in line and, and certainly deserves his go. The, the domestic structure gets a lot of criticism in South African cricket. A lot of people don't think that it produces enough test quality players. But... Peter Milan comes in as a, as a debutante at 30 years old. In the last test, Rusty van der Dis and Dwayne Pretorius came in as 30-year-old debutantes. Does this kind of speak to a strength in domestic cricket, do you think, that we are seeing guys who are coming through when they're ready and not having to be rushed as a 23, 24-year-old who's still a bit green behind the ears? Yeah, personally, you know, I, I certainly prefer guys who have done well at the level below for two or three seasons. Yes. You know, I, I don't believe in this business of choosing a guy after one fantastic season. Yeah because you just never know and yeah I, I, I think the strength of our franchise system the the domestic system is kind of like a cyclical thing mm. that it goes in cycles um, and for me the best proof of whether it's a good system or not is is when guys make that step up to international level do they find their feet quite quickly mm. or do they really really struggle um, you know I think a few years ago we, we were in a very good position because just about every person who came into the side made runs or took wickets and, and really had good debuts uh, I've been a little concerned lately um, you know I look at guys like Aidan Markram and Tennis De Bruyne who have really dominated um, at franchise level Dane Pete as a spinner yep. uh, really dominated at the level below uh, but just haven't quite seemed to be able to carry that through um, at test level um, but then you know the counter argument is a guy like Rassi van der Dusen yes. who came into the Proteus side and just immediately mm. did really well, you know, and, and you know, not just in home series, yeah, I mean, he, he had an outstanding World Cup. Yeah. So I think it's always difficult to judge, um, to generalise about the, the strength of the domestic system, but, um, you know, hopefully all the, and look, in, in the first test in Centurion, the debutants all did well, yeah. so that was a good sign and, and let's hope the same for Peter Milan. But it's not just from uh, their individual point of view. Faf Duplessis spoke of when a 30-year-old comes in, just the sense that you don't have to blood him in. You don't have to make him feel like he belongs. He walks into the system confident, feeling like he can contribute because he knows his game so well. I mean, just from a captaincy point of view, like what a, what a relief that must be for Faf. Yeah, and, and that little phrase, knows his game, to yeah. me is, is so crucial. Because, yeah, test cricket is, is the biggest test um, it's a real examination of guys, everything they've got there, their techniques, their mental skills, their toughness, all of that. And, you know, sure, you do get 21, 22-year-olds who are just so good that yep. they can be brought in and make the step up immediately and do well. Those, those are your real sort of geniuses, guys with exceptional talent. Mm. But I think for most players, it's, it's just a lot easier for them and, and a lot better if they can go up that next level when they really feel like they've ticked the level below that they dominated now at that level. Yes. They're ready to go up and, and show what they can do at the higher level. Of course, it would be, rem being South Africa, it would be remiss to, to, not, uh, to not mention the racial aspect. Peter Milan is a white guy. There, there's a sense that the sport has become a bit whitewashed um, with the introduction of Mark Boucher's head coach replacing Enoch Nkwe, um, Graham Smith at the top, obviously. Some rumblings that, that things aren't looking so good, that the optics aren't great and on a racial point of view. What's, your, what's been your take? Yeah, it, it's, you know, I think injuries haven't helped. A uh, guy like Lungi and Gidi not being available. Temba Bavuma, a very unfortunately timed injury Yes. You know, before the first test, although both Faf and, and Mark Boucher have been honest in saying that his place was probably in doubt anyway. Um, even if he had been fit, and now that he is fit for the second test, they've left him out... Uh, you know, I, I think it really depends on 
your own personal take because, you know, Rusty van der Dussen scored a crucial half century in the second innings. Would it be fair to drop him? No, probably not. Um, I could quite easily then give you a counter stat that says it's not fair to drop Timber Bavuma. Yes. Because, you know, his, he scored 32 in his last test in India, which was, you know, a series where getting past 20 was beyond <laughs> most of the Proteus batsmen. Right. So, uh, and also, you know, in Bavuma's case, the stats lie a bit, a bit I think, about him because yes. he makes his runs in really tough situations. And yes. Christ is sort of, he reminds me of John T. Rhodes, who coming in at six, you know, didn't get that many hundreds. But he, he shared a number of you know, absolutely vital partnerships um, and made valuable very you know um, half centuries under a lot of pressure. And Tim is a bit like that. So, yeah, I, I think there are arguments for both sides for Timber being dropped. Um, it, it, it is a great pity and, and it's an indictment on the system that there yes. aren't really any other black African batsmen uh, who are really pushing for a place in the test side. So when we do have a couple of injuries like in Gidi, uh, you know, like Timber did have, then you know suddenly we're a bit exposed in terms of those numbers. Mm. Well, no one can deny that that Peter Milan deserves his call-up, and we wish him.